Hi guys, I received a message from, well it doesn't actually have an email here, um, some guys are put, not putting their YouTube usernames into my website and sometimes when I want to reply to you, you haven't put your YouTube username so I can't get back to you on some things, but um, can't be helped. Anyway, it says, Dear Duncan, how to get a local D-Disc? Please help Andrew. That's a very vague question because there are quite a few ways that you can get a local D-Disc. Now, what I'll be doing is showing how to resize your hard disk and with the free space you have uh, make an, a separate disk out of it so you can store files, folders, anything like that just making a separate drive uh, but it will use your own drive if you know what I mean so we're going to be, I'll be showing you partitioning and resizing partitions now I've got a virtual machine it's got XP on it and it's using a uh, local disk C and it's got 10 gigabytes and it's got 8 gigabytes free on it because it's just a clean install and you can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this to about 7 gigabytes and I'm going to make a drive at the free space and you, what you've said here it says uh, how to get a local D disk. Now if you're uh, like you can see here I've got a, a CD drive that's drive D so if I was to make a disk it'll make it to E uh, you can, I'm not, um, I think you can swap the drive letters around but uh, that may cause problems so I'd keep it as it is so anyway um, I'm going to basically resize C now there are plenty of tools out there there are quite, quite a few that aren't actually free I know there's Ranish Partition Manager that's free and things like that but I'm actually going to go for something called Parted Magic now I've just downloaded the ISO um, which is best to, it's, just, it's a CD image so you guys will want to burn this to disk and put it into your drive but as this is a virtual machine this is a virtual CD so I'm virtu I've virtually inserted the CD into the machine so um, all I need to do is uh, go to double click my CD here or right click here CD DVD ROM image and uh, part of magic select it and so it's loaded it into the so you've got it. it's now loaded it into the CD drive so I can restart the computer and show you guys what, what's going on without having to restart mine. So I'm just going to restart the computer. Now Parted Magic is a distribution of Linux and basically what it has is it's got, uh, I think it's got something called VizPart which is a great, it's a very good, um, I'm going to use the default memory settings here. So it's, yeah, it's a very good uh, partitioning tool. Um, now you may want to defragment your hard drive beforehand, I didn't show you that, you have to right click on your uh, drive and select properties and then go to tools and then defrag because you may find that some of your files are on uh, the part that you're trying to resize like towards the end of the disk so it's best to make sure you can defrag. Now some of the system files won't be able to be moved so it's, it's best to be careful when you're using this part in magic or any partitioning tool because there are chances that you can ruin your system so you just gotta make sure you got everything backed up in case anything happens so this is part of magic it's now loading up uh, the main thing which is a Linux distribution and what will happen is it will show a Linux like desktop and I'll just show you this part now obviously um, I struggled in VMware to show um, it when it was resizing with Ubuntu and I'm struggling with VirtualBox um, but it, it'll come up with an error but it, you can kind of see how it works I'll just explain it, I'll show it to you so I'm hoping the screen recorder will follow me I've, I'm clicking, now hasn't followed me has it uh, down here, I'm clicking Viz Parted that, that icon there and you can see it's scanning for all devices and it will show me my hard drive because I only have one so eventually it does take some time because this is all virtualized it's a virtual hard disk so it's not like a proper one so I'm actually going to error out when I try to do this but you'll see I've got uh, slash dev slash hda1 9.99 .9 gig and what I want to do is actually resize that to about 7 didn't I say? I think it's 7 so um, I wish this partition, I wish the uh, screen recorder would follow me so I'm going to try and uh, I'm gonna leave it over here see if it will follow and uh, I hope you can see this so all I'm going to do is I'm going to select my uh, drive over here uh, where it says used unused and I'm just going to right click and say resize and now it's got like a slider and you can then slide it as far down as you want uh, and it will change the free space and new size and the following you can actually do it by the amounts as well so I'm going to try and resize it to 7 now you can see it says new size is going to be 7 gigabytes, or roundabout, free space left, 
and uh, free space proceeding. So just going to click resize. Now it doesn't do it straight away. It, what it does is it, it puts it as if you were about to do it and uh, all you do, then do is apply and then it will work, do its stuff. So um, you notice it now says al unallocated, now that means it's not anything, it just means that there's nothing there, it's not being used by anyone. So all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to right click this free space, hoping you can see that, just right click the free space and select new, and it says create new partition, free space proceeding. Create its primary partition file system ext2. Now ext2 is the Linux file system, so I'm actually going to change that to NTFS. And I'm really sorry about this screen recorder, guys. It's not following me because this is in a virtual machine. So then I'm just going to say add, and then in all, all it's going to do is format this to be NTFS, which is the uh, Windows XP and Windows Vista file system uh, most of the time. Some leave it as fat, but this is NTFS. So it, you can see that it's ready, pretty much ready to go. Now mine's going to error out and I'm going to have to pause this because it takes a while and then it errors out. But I'll show you the error anyway. But what it does, it will actually, because um, I'm using the virtual hard disk, it will resize this fine and it will make uh, this area unallocated and it will try and make a drive but it can't make it NTFS for some reason. So um, I'll just show you it anyway because it does eventually work. So I'm just going to click apply, click apply here. And you can see it's applying pending operations. It's going to check the file system for errors and, if possible, fix them. And then it's going to shrink it and then it's going to add more new ones. So I'm going to unpause this video when this is uh, errored out. So um, I'll see you in a sec. Hi guys, well, it turns out it didn't error out. It says that all operations were successfully completed, which is great. So I'm going to close this. It scans for all the devices again and it's done. So now I'm just going to restart my machine. I'm going to go to machine and then reset. Reset it. So, we're now restarting the computer to go into Windows XP, hopefully. There we go. And um, I should have now a blank drive. Uh, I'm not going to try, I'm going to skip this file checking. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. There are a lot of tools about, but I'm just showing you part of magic. Now, um, in Vista, I think you can shrink or resize your partition on the fly using their um, disk management. I think you go to start. Uh, control panel, excuse me, or something like that, and um, administrative tools, and then computer management, and then disk management, or something like that, and then you can actually resize them from here. And you'll notice I now have an E drive, 3.16, and a C drive, 6.84. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's first installed new devices, so it's finished installing my new drive. I'm not going to restart. Click my computer, and you can see I now have a C drive, which is 7 gig. And I now have an E drive, which is 3 gig, and now that's now usable to put stuff in. Now, you can redirect things like my documents, so if you were to write and go properties, you'll notice it says a target. You can actually change that to be drive E or something, and then you can save all your documents on an external drive. So that might be easier. But anyway, this is how to resize uh, your main disk and make another one, but be aware that this is this you can't do this in Windows XP actually in inside it um, and there is the risk of screwing your system completely by doing this but chances are you won't but it's the fact of Windows, um, system files that can't be defragmented and um, might be in that free space so be careful when you're doing this and make sure you've got everything backed up um, but other than that that's pretty much it so um, another way to do this I think is by is to uh, make a RAM disk but that's that's a totally different video I might explain that in a future video so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again